Hello everyone, this is Crash. This is Crash Bandicoot 248 and I am showing you a video about my favorite marsupial of Wampa Island. Of Wampa Island is Crash Bandicoot. And I love him because of the way how he has different kind of versions. Like he has two known clones, like Fake Crash and Mega Crash. The um the evil version of Crash Bandicoot. And the Fake Crash is a um is like a trash version of Crash Bandicoot. And also I love him because of his versions. Like he known in different games, like he like more different in each game. That's how I love him. Also, is another reason why I love him. Like more, my favorite marsupial of his own game. And also, he could in the first game. I love him because of the way how he tried to save his girlfriend named Tawana Bandicoot from Doctor Neil Cortex. And also in Skylanders, a uh, Skylanders um academy. I love him also because of the way how he had went to the Skylands, and after. Um, the, the Skylanders sent him back to his own world. And also, he loved, like, he wanted to save his friend, but um, Spiral was amazed by his amazingness that he had dead up his move and everything. In his world, in their world, that's how he got amazing. He tried to be, like, the same way as Crash Bandicoot Spiral. And they had to find a dark relic to get him back to his dimension or his world. And also in the new game, Crash Bandicoot and Sin Trilogy are going to like him because of the way how he's going to be combined with all three of those games. And like the first Crash, the second Crash, Cortex Strikes Back, and the third game, the Warp one. Because the third game and the third um part of the trilogy is going to be with Uka Uka because the first uh, two um Crash Bandicoot games, he wasn't a part of that Uka Uka. That's how he was a part of the third one when he when Cortex had lost the crystals and everything. And that's how I love um, that why I'm gonna might love that game when that's gonna come out in June thirtieth, two thousand seventeen. And it's for the PS four. And um Crash Bandicoot the Wrath of Cortex. I love his version because the way that that's when they recruit a new bandicoot named Crunch Bandicoot that who was created by Dr. Neil Cortex when they was tried to when the um match called the Elemental had three they, he had enough power to create um Crunch Bandicoot. That's how he got controlled and he became a bad guy first thing after like when he got added a, um the control and stuff Dr. Neil Cortex he got um like he got freed and they had um help him. And in the um the twist in the game, Crash Bandicoot Cortex had returned from his an Arctic waste. And he tried to get revenge back on Crash Bandicoot when he had dead to him in a in the fourth game of him. And also and Neil Dr. Neil Cortex, he got a help with Crash Bandicoot in the first one by Embryo. Dr. Embry Embryo. He's the one that who helped Dr. Neil Cortex to try to create Crash Bandicoot. But after he gone wrong with that experiment with the um the vortex because the war the vortex wasn't ready for Crash Bandicoot yet. That's how because the way the evolution right when he got him he got um then it be coming out what Dr. Neil Cortex was expecting Crash to be. That's how I love Crash Bandicoot. And, Give a like and a comment and to subscribe to me to find, to see more of Crash Bandicoot and me on my um gameplays that I did on my channel. And my channel is Crash Bandicoot 248. Bye. See you next time.